some handouts that I have given you. Um, <coughs> in the past, I've kind of brought you guys up to speed on what was going on with residential and commercial development, and that's what I'm doing today. What, I'm, what I want to talk about today uh, is the uh, lack of residential development that's going on in the county. Um, some people are calling it a crash of the residential market. If you look at your uh, packet and look at page one, you'll see that June's building permits are down to 170 homes for the month. That is significantly lower than what we've been seeing in the past. If you flip over to page two, that's got the first six months of this year's building permits, and, uh, it, and I'm going to go off my memory here because I don't have, I didn't do this math, but it looks like the first six months are trending to a number that would be at least 50% lower in houses built this year from, from last year. Uh, the average number of homes, if you, if the, you took this 1,037 homes for the year, is down to 172 per month. If you go to page three, which is probably the most important page for, for this exercise. It's uh, first quarter plan review. First quarter plan review. Plan review, as you know, is uh, where developers go to get uh, all their I's crossed and their I's dotted and T's crossed for their development. It gives you a picture into what the next six to 12 months are going to be as far as development in the county. And this is the most concerning page right here. Residential projects, which is the far left highlighted area, has dropped from 21 projects last year to six this year. The next column that I highlighted, that is a reduction of 72% in projects in this county. The next column that I highlighted is residential acres submitted. Last year it was 1,600 acres. This year it's down to 304. The far right column shows residential lots submitted. That dropped from 2,591 lots to 459 lots. The residential acreage submitted is a reduction of 82% of our acreage in uh, residential development. And the residential lots submitted is down 83%. A lot of people will applaud the slowdown, but I think few people will applaud the ramifications of that slowdown. I think that um, anyone with any measure of being able to look at the crystal ball to see that this could result and may result in a lowering of property values and certainly will result in a raising of unemployment. On the flip side, on the good side, the local economy is rolling very strongly. Commercial growth is off the charts. I didn't bring you anything for that, but you can look at the last couple of pages and, and see some of the other things like commercial acres submitted in plan review. That's up 44%. Uh, commercial acreage total is up 255%. Hopefully these developments on the commercial side will offset the loss in jobs that we're going to see from the residential side. Uh, so that is my report. I just wanted to bring you guys up to date. We should have some new numbers in the next three to four weeks to give us the second quarter's plan review. And when I get those, I'll try to get them to you as quickly as I can. For Pauline.com, G. Patton Hughes reporting.